Welcome to Zoto's Workshop. I'm Mr. Zoto, and today we're making Smeargle out of bike chains. You heard right. We recently discovered Smeargle in the Chain of Realms. Realm of Chains. So as part of our research, we're going to be recreating Smeargle to figure out how it really works. With all that, let's jump into it. Step one. Unload the chains. You don't have to be exact. Next, we're going to lay out all the different parts for Smeargle. On the left are the parts for his head, the middle are for his body, and the right is for his tail. Now that we have things welded, we can start assembling the different parts. So we're going to start with the head. Got to make sure we get that hat on there nice and fit up right. I wanted to show you that not everything goes quite as smooth. Even while I'm making these videos, sometimes there are some last minute adjustments, such as the top of Smeargle's hat. We ended up going with a three link here just to make it look a little bit more like the hat. Now that we have the head complete, we can do the rest of the body, including the arms and legs. Now that we have the head and body put together, it's time to make Smeargle's paint tail. So we're going to have a longer chain for the main part of it, and then we're going to weld a whole bunch of flat links at the end of it and press them together to make the brush. This is where we position the tail first to make sure that it goes in the right direction and that when Smeargle stands up, he'll actually be able to balance without falling over. slicing and dicing on the ends of those flat links just to make them a little bit smaller so that when we press them together they actually look a little bit more like brush hairs. Now that Smeargle's fully welded, it's time to clean it up with an angle grinder using a flap disc and then doing some finer details with the Dremel. And there we have our raw version of the bike chain Smeargle. So, it's time to add the paint. After a light brown base coat is added, we'll start adding the darker details. I tried using a different type of paint here, it did not work. So eventually got the right type of paint and started painting on the ears.
While I was painting Smeargle, I came to the realization that with so many dogs out there, why does he only have this one paint scheme? It was a little bit weird, and you know, down the road, I might end up doing some different paint schemes for Smeargle myself. Finally, it's time to add that final bit of details onto the end of the paintbrush. This is green, but I don't see why Smeargle couldn't use some other colors as well. So again, down the road, might end up doing some Smeargle variants. There we have it, the final form for Bike Chain Smeargle. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see some variants on this and if so, what dogs they should be based off. If you enjoyed watching the build process for Smeargle, make sure to let me know by hitting that big old thumbs up button down there in the corner. Also, while you're down there, make sure to leave in the comments what Pokemon you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more of it, you can do so over on Patreon, linked down in the description below. Any amount of support helps. So with all that, thank you and signing off with a toadile smile.